Hi everyone, Christina here. Hope you're enjoying some quality holiday time. Today our community brings us some great tips for my favorite time of year. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen where I'm about to bake April Athena 7's famous pumpkin apple pie. I picked up all of the ingredients on her list and hopefully it'll be done by the end of this video. So I'm starting with the crust and our first tip comes from Quixotic Girly with some fun family traditions and how to stuff a stocking. Basically just looking for the longest, biggest socks you can find that they can still enjoy when their stocking is empty. So as far as filling the stockings, I do a little research ahead of time and I find out what people like. Whether it be nuts or chocolate, hard candies, gum, whatever makes them happy, I try to find those particular items and put them in the stocking. Next I like to include some fun items. So for kids that might be crayons and books, for men that might be their favorite magazine or a tool, for girls and women things like face masks, lip balm, lotion and loofahs are always appreciated. Thank you for sharing, Angela. As I'm mixing the ingredients for the crust together, our next tip comes from Geeky Mercedes, who recently started a channel, The Couponing Geek, with some great money-saving tips for during the holidays. She writes, sign up for store email alerts or newsletters. Many of them offer you a coupon to use on your next purchase when you sign up, and would email you exclusive offers and coupons throughout the year. Pair them up with the store's holiday sales and you might be able to be your own Santa and have a little shopping spree for yourself. That's some great advice. Just pick the stores you know and love, right? Now Love for Makeup 22 ties a holiday bow. Next you take a bobby pin and you pin the back of your hair if your hair is as long as mine, it's still sticking out in the back after you pinned it, you can just twirl it around and kind of stick it through some hair in the back. I kind of create a loop with my fingers and just pull it through a little bit. Very cute, Noelle. Now make me stunning gets festive with some gift wrapping expertise. show you guys some simple ways to jazz up your ordinary Christmas wrapping and make it into something very personalized and very festive. We are creating a fan shape, roughly an inch thick. So do one inch, flip it over, and then fold it an inch on the other side. Continue this the whole way through. Tie the curling ribbon around the center of your fan. Now what you want to do is start to divide the layers of the fan and start to spread it out. Thanks, Jade. Now here's a quick tree decorating tip from Lolu Fully Loaded. Thanks, Lo. Okay, now for some beauty tips from Glitter Forever 17 and Miss Star Violet. As you can see, I've already applied my green and gold eyeshadow, so next, using a small thin brush, I'm just going to dab it into some brow glue and just load my brush up with my sparkly gold cosmetic glitter, then slowly layer the glitter onto the gold eyeshadow. And I also apply the glitter in the inner corners of my eyes and below my waterline for some extra sparkle. This red lipstick applies much darker than it is on my lips right now. But when I apply it with a lip brush, the color is much more toned down. Thank you, Breland and Kate. And now for some more beauty tips from Jordan Rebecca XO and ILY Jessica OMG. I'm going for more of a dark, intense red. So I'm going to start off with my Revlon Lip Butter in Cherry Tart. And then I'm going to put on my YSL Rouge Full Up Sheer Candy Lipstick in Mouthwatering Berry just to deepen up that really, really bright red. And I like a more sheer red lip for the holidays just because it's more natural and less intense for spending time with your family. And it just kind of lets your natural beauty shine. I'm just going to take my ring finger and get a whole bunch of glitter just like that. Tap this on right over here. And this is just, you know, super fresh and super nice. And it's not 
you know, overpowering at all. It's super rock and roll. So now you're ready to party with your friends and family for the holidays. Thanks, Jordan and Jessica. Next, we move on to fashion tips. First up, we have Rochelle from Border Hammer. Don't be afraid to try rich jewel tone colors and break up your look with neutrals or metallics. Too much of anything is never good. Try accenting your look with vintage style accessories. I think it adds individuality and character. Thanks, Rochelle. And last up today is the Fashion Beauty 7. Experiment with textures and layers. Simplicity should be left to another season. During the holidays, your look should be festive and attention grabbing. Leather, lace, or faux fur, everything, give it a try. It's all about trying new things. Thank you everyone for all your amazing holiday tips. And thank you, April, for sharing your pie recipe. I can't wait to try a piece. To see all of the steps on how to make this pie, be sure to check out April's full video. Bye everyone, happy holidays.